Hey everyone, so in this video I'm sharing how I use the AI Assistant to help generate imagery for my course. So here we're back with our Modern Animal Communication and Ethics course, and what I want to do is use the AI Assistant to create an image with this uh, same style um, for my introduction slide. So. The cool thing here is that once you have an image uh, in your course, if you go to format and replace picture, generate image with AI, you can see which image style, which prompt, uh, and what the image style prompt was. So that's helpful. Um, if you say are coming back and you're like, oh, I'm not sure which image style I used. If you have another image in the course, you can um, go back to that image and uh, get the details. So we're gonna go over to our introduction slide. And what we're gonna do, you can uh, go from the home or insert ribbon uh, to the AI assistant to insert the image, or in your right sidebar, you can select AI assistant and then select generate image. So that's what we're gonna do today. Then you'll get the dialog box here. And so the first step would be to add details about the image. So I'm just going to uh, copy paste some details that I already created. Dog being examined by a veterinarian who's wearing a lab coat with a stethoscope around their neck. The dog does not look happy, they are inside. Now, the reason why I added uh, they are inside was because when initially when I put this prompt, um, I was getting background imagery of um, outdoor buildings and it just wasn't wasn't the vibe for what I was going for. Um, then because I want a portrait um, orientation, I'm going to select portrait and I've already got my uh, painterly style, which is the style of my splash image selected, so I'm going to generate image. Now what you're gonna get here is four options. They may not be exactly what you're looking for, so you may need to regenerate. Um, this one here is pretty good, so is this one. Um, although the stethoscope is around the dog's neck, um, so maybe this one would be better. Um, and this one as well is all right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add so you'll, if you hover over, you'll see um, you can add to media library. So I'm gonna add these two because once we regenerate, uh, they are going to disappear. You may not get these images ever again. Um, although uh, now that I've added this one, um, I, I don't want to use it because as you can see in the background, there's um, outdoor imagery. You can also add all media to the library if you like them all, but I'm going to choose generate again. And we'll see what it comes up with this time. Okay, so I really like uh, this one, but it also kind of looks like with the effect behind, it kind of looks like it's outdoors. Um, I do really like this one. And this one could, it looks too much to me like there's a stethoscope around the dog's neck uh, versus a leash. So I don't think I'm going to go with that one. Um, I'm, I'm thinking maybe we go with this one. So once I have decided which one I want, all I have to do is select insert image. And now I have the image that I want for this slide and I just need to place it. And so here we have a, a quickly generated image for this, um, this slide. Now I would probably further um, create an overlay and, and kind of blur this a little bit, but that's how you could uh, very quickly generate images using Articulate AI. Now, the other thing is that any image you add to your media library, if you go to the view ribbon and media library images, you can see all of the images that we've we've added to our course. So if you want to maybe replace this image, you could right click replace and replace from media library 
and say, maybe this was the one that we wanted to use. We could replace that image very quickly. Um, and I would probably rotate it so it looks like that. So very quick way for using Articulate AI to help you with image generation, specifically if you're having a hard time finding the appropriate images or the just the right image for your course.